heavily used Westmoreland Heritage Trail that's behind me. Uh, being here quite often, we noticed, well, there's some flooding, and it was threatening the uh, bridge abutment, the main branch of Turtle Creek, which can get uh, pretty high at times, mostly due to stormwater coming from the Murraysville and Monroeville area. That erosive velocity was eroding the bridge abutment which was behind me. So then the conservation district put together a Growing Greener grant application. Essentially what this project is is the stream bank stabilization but it's not our normal just um, rip wrapping the banks. It's more of a natural stabilization which is why we have fish and boat here. Um, there's some severe bank erosion and we're, we're looking to enhance this section of stream for that stock trout fishery by stabilizing the banks using stream habitat improvement structures. So we are about a mile and a half back from any sort of roadway. So the large amount of materials that we need to bring in this to the site, a truckload of logs and about 10 truckloads of rock has to come to the site. So they have to back up one and a half miles of the Westmoreland Heritage Trail. So even the best truck driver is being tested today to get the materials to the site. So we travel the state to make improvements to the waterways to, to enhance that, that fishing quality and prevent sedimentation from getting into the, to the streams. You kind of stack logs anchored in the bank along every 10 or 20 feet or so and then frame it with more logs and then fill it with stone. It will give cover for fish underneath so that kind of has that fish enhancement feature to it. Um, and then as well, that's going to help direct the flow away from the abutment, which right now it's directed right behind the bridge abutment. This is a specific kind of project where it takes some experts. Uh, that's why we brought on the Fish and Boat Commission, because their design uh, not only stabilizes the bank, but also provides uh, fish habitat.